Hello everybody, welcome back to another Coffee Talk podcast. We're having an espresso roast today, and you know espresso is uh, darker topics. I figured you were all a little tired of the snow outside, and so I'm going for a fall vibe. We'll throw back to uh, Utober even though you know how much that stresses me out. I love Utober, but every year, by the end of it, that's gonna be better from now on. I can promise you guys, because I, I have a team. Finally. Help set the fall vibe. I've got this cozy, orange outfit from one of my um, fall hauls and it can't be cozy without twinkle lights, fun pillows, and candles. We've got spiced apple cinnamon. It's a vibe. I was just jamming out to some Taylor Swift, her newest album. Oh my god you guys, it's great. I'm absolutely in love with Taylor Swift. I'd play her for you, but because I'm not the real Kayla Nicholson, I don't have any rights to her music. And I will get banned. Yes, um, back in character. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of uh, Coffee Talk. Today we're doing an espresso roast podcast. Espresso Roast covers darker topics like spirituality, UFOs, tarot cards, relationships. I just bought a house and I'm moving up in my professional career. There for a minute, I had an existential crisis like everybody else. Don't feel so alone. That's kind of the point of this Co's channel. And you following me along in my journey and my career in life. If you had a big sister and you didn't get along, or perhaps you didn't have a big sister and you always wanted one or a best friend, this is a safe place to just come and hang out, get cozy with me. And as long as you're not mean to me, that's where I draw the line. This is a friendly environment where I will tell you everything, almost everything. I won't tell you about my boyfriend too much because I decided that um, I need a personal private life. Um, and he deserves that because I like him that much. But I will tell you everything that crosses my mind. Including what I just wrote down, if I can find it, in my planner. I have organized a GS day. Get your entire life together day. I have planned and organized for the next 36 years of my life. And this is a coffee talk, so we're not going to do organizing and planning here, but um, in an upcoming episode on my other channel, I will show you how to plan GS day. Get your entire life together day. Where you plan and organize for ever. Because I'm really good at organization. Almost obsessive compulsively so. And I'm incredibly open. I make mistakes like everybody else. And I'm open about them. I show my emotional breakdowns. And I, really... yeah. I share everything. From deep spiritual sides 
that I have my thoughts on sex and relationships and the future and um, things going on in the world, but I try not to get too political because it's not a divisive channel. It is a home sweet home channel. Come home with me, grow with me, hang out with me, chill with me like family you don't have, which is what makes this channel great. I'm your big sister who's into fashion, but not obnoxiously so, who likes mystical things like the law of attraction and tarot cards, who works her ass off to put all this together. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Back to our chat. Oh, look, Bentley's up. Hello, Bentley. I know you're a bear today instead of a dog. I don't have a, a dog. And I don't have a um, stuffed dog either. So today Bentley is played by a bear. <laughs> Besides moving up personally, professionally, expanding my business with Thankfully, finally some help manifesting the man of my dreams into my life when I finally had the courage to actually write it down. I believe in the law of attraction and crystals and love the moon and being Canadian and being nice and Taylor Swift and candles. It's a vibe and my dog and veganism. What's great about me is my ambiance. No, <laughs> that's just bonus. I'm really good at ambiance. I could do a get ready with me. I'm really good at makeup too. Or you could buy in and I'll let you put your stuff up here and promote you, but you have to pay. I am running a business after all. None of this is free and it takes a lot of my time. So don't judge me. It's actually helping me help you help me. I'm adding value. Um, sometimes you'll catch me all dressed up. Sometimes you'll catch me casual. I admitted I had eating issues and anxiety. I'm open about mental health and destigmatizing that. Sometimes you'll catch me in my oversized glasses. Just chilling at home, working away on my laptop, organizing. I'm still setting down roots, but it's nice to know that I'm setting down roots. You might also find me on my uh, yoga teacher channel. See, she doesn't play with her hair. But I do, even when it's not my own hair. I'm playing with it. And I'm wearing my glasses down. She doesn't like, she's not a little old lady. She's actually probably significantly younger than me, I'm guessing. Um, but she, her glasses are just so big because they're cool like that. Um, <laughs> so actually for me, she'd be my little sister. Um, my cool little sister. She has a great personality for somebody like me. Who tends to be rather isolated. Anybody who feels um, lonely, like they don't quite make the cut in life, especially with female friends. If they didn't have a sister, if they're not close with their family, and they want to just chat about life. She has healthy practices. She does yoga. She's good and wholesome and goofy and honest about the good and the bad and the weird things she thinks. She's very welcoming and warm. It is a very safe place. It's a safe place, a non-judgmental place for um, women to go. There's a lot of bad examples in social media. Um, 
<coughs> There's a lot of bad examples on social media. Let me get my espresso. And um, a lot of cookie cutter people that try to emulate the wrong things. At least she's setting a really good example. Yes, she's a blonde. She's a fake blonde. Because when she had her midlife crisis, which was like probably a quarter life crisis. Because like I said, she's younger than me, I'm guessing. Um, about putting her life out there because she actually thinks about what she's doing. Um, the overexposure and everything, and she's she sort of found her way in life oh, on camera. And yes, she has twinkly lights and the whole vibe, and she's blonde when she's naturally a brunette, and does yoga, and is vegan, and she has her thing, but we all have our things. Her things are actually authentic. She doesn't just set it up because it's pretty. She does what she does because she likes it. And she's also really good at setting up things that are pretty when she was doing the whole channel by herself. I'm talking about entrepreneurial ship. You tow her alone. Her execution is phenomenal. Her ability to uh, make beautiful shots, to do makeup. Um, she's, she's a, a she, People may judge her based on the staples. But she's not your cookie cutter influencer. She's her. She's genuine. She's been her all along. She's been honest all along. She changed her fitness Fridays to um, watch me chill out. Do like three poses of yoga on the bed in my sweats or my t-shirt and I haven't moved for 11 hours because I've been busting my ass on the computer working on my channel working on my business um, the edgiest topic she covered was like let's talk about sex and she covered that tactfully She's a safe place. Whenever I want to sit down with a warm cup of something, and feel less alone in the world, have a chat about, well, anything under the sun, pretty much. Um, from relationships to life, anything you talk with a good girlfriend about. Or I want to emulate someone like a lot of young girls want to emulate people they see online. And she's a good role model. She's not your typical blonde. Um, I like vegan food and tarot and... That's why I'm not mocking her. That's why I'm paying her ode. Um, she's genuine. She's intelligent. She's hardworking. She likes the things that she likes because she actually likes them. She's worked really hard to get where she's at. She's into healthful nutrition, mental health, body appreciation. Um, she's, she's just a good example. And like I said, when I need a place to unwind my own crazy mind um certifiably crazy mind bipolar um eating disorder recovered and i was legitimately worried about her when she got so thin um, it's better now and she was honest about it too um i love her authenticity 
She's such a good example. She's intelligent. She's entrepreneurial. Hardworking. She's not a cookie cutter. She's the original. She likes what she likes. You don't have to like what she likes. Twinkle lights and candles and Utober and Taylor Swift. Or yoga, even. She just has, um, it is a vibe. Get Bentley back. Oh, Bentley. Um, it is a big brother's, big sister's um, version of a uh, role model. A lot of people look to the web. A lot of young people look to the web for someone to emulate. And she's setting an appropriate example. Non-judgment zone non-materialistic, healthful habits, complete honesty, like she even talked about her anxiety, her mental health, and her ganja use, and her therapist. She's real, and she's smart, even if she's blonde. Don't judge a book by its cover. Dig a little deeper into Kaylin Nicholson, and you'll find a warm, safe place, a community, a role model on the internet for young women that's actually good for them, which is needed. You will find um, wholesome living that's not so wholesome that it seems unrealistic. You'll find uh, a real person with real thoughts, fears, feelings, and personality. If you're feeling alone, she will make you feel less alone because she's so intimate and she's so honest. And you'll wish you knew her in real life. You wish you had a friend like her. At least that's how she makes me feel. Let me blow this out before I knock it over and burn my shorts off me or my wig. Oh, the vibe is gone. So yes, I don't know how many other references I could have made. I went in with zero plan on this one. I had the concept in my head, but um, just pretend we're like nearing the end of Utober. This is one of my last couple of videos and I've completely burnt myself out trying to keep a commitment that I put on myself because I don't want to let you all down. I'm high anxiety and I put a lot of pressure on myself and sometimes near the end of Utober my videos just stop or um, aren't as good as some of the other ones so just pretend this is an end of Utober video and um, that right there my friends is one more way you can find yourself relatable to Kayla Nicholson. Overly anxious to put yourself out there in the world properly, trying to balance privacy and public, live up to the expectations that you've set for yourself, pushing yourself too hard, thinking those expectations are coming from outside, to be a certain way, to live up to a certain bar, when you don't realize that you're setting the expectation for yourself. You just want to relax and let your mind unwind from all the craziness in the world and hang out. She's got your back. She's a good example. She's a role model. She has a safe place. The importance of authenticity, honesty, helping others. If you want to build your business, add value to others while adding value to yourself. Thanks for hanging out with me. Not Kaylin Nicholson. <laughs> Until next time. Which will be soon because I put out an incredible amount of videos. Love you guys. Nice work, Kaylin. Co's Cafe, check it out.
Peace.